Open for more than 60 years, Fairtail Town is a staple in Sacramento, but just like other nonprofits, the park has taken quite a hit during the pandemic. So today is the kickoff to an online auction to try to bring in some money. KCR3's Leticia Daz working for home this morning with more on what is up for grabs during the fundraiser. Deirdre and Teo, good morning. I think kids are going to go crazy in the community when they find out that they can take some of those precious barn animals home. They can even handle a friendly snake. And this is the very first time that Fairytale Town has held an online auction. They are trying to do what they can to make ends meet during the pandemic. The park is now open to the public. But this year, there is a big deficit in funds because of several park closures during COVID. And of course, they can only have fewer people there in at one time. The auction will include what they're calling a barnyard in your backyard for this one. The highest bidder will get to bring home pigs, bunnies, and a donkey for a play date. Another package is the Easter Bunny Adventure. With this one, you can bring home their three giant rabbits to your Easter celebration. You can also bid on a private camp out at Fairytale Town or a private Easter egg hunt in the park. Fairytale Town is counting on the community's generosity. There is so much community love for Fairytale Town. It's been a civic treasure for six decades now, and um, we got to keep it going strong. You just get on there, find some things that you like, make a generous bid, and uh, become the winner. I checked it out. There's a lot of things that I like. The goal right now is to raise $20,000. You can place a bid by going to fairytaletown.org slash auction. The auction will be going live at 8 this morning and it ends Sunday. If you are not able to participate in the auction this week, you can always support Fairytale Town by stopping by. They're open seven days a week, but during COVID, you will have to book an appointment online. Deirdre and Teo, back to you. Uh, Leticia, I assume kids have to get their parents' permission before they bring a donkey home and we'll be, yes, you'll, you'll be allowing your sons to bring home a donkey. <laughs> I would allow them to bring home a donkey. Yes, you would. Great you, she's very brave. Oh, I would have lost that bet. <laughs> I, me too. Thank you, Leticia. 